Welcome to French Sounds app, uh, it's uh, version 1.6. Uh, this uh, will teach you the French phonemes, the basic building blocks of any language. And in fact, originally it was called French phonemes, but it um, turns out uh, French Sounds was a, uh, a more uh, popular name for it. So we're going to start with, uh, we have three tabs here, reference, practice, and test, and we're going to cover them in order. So first we'll go to touch in here, and then simply that you touch any of the phonemes. Uh, these are all the IPA symbols. Some of them are very strange, some are deceptively familiar. Um, but you touch any of them and you hear the sound. So we'll start with uh, an easy one. Mm. 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 And then one you may be surprised about. E. 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 And then uh, a perfectly odd one. Mm. 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 Ing. 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 So forth. Uh, again, these are all the IPA symbols. Um, my main reference was uh, Le Petit Robert. Uh, I found it uh, uh, authoritative in terms of the pronunciation, so I, I took it from there. Incidentally, this one sounds like. Shh. Shh. So that's it for the touching ear reference. Um, now we're going to go to something that seems similar, but uh, it's a bit different. So we'll press on this one. And what you have here is you have the IPA again. Uh, uh, uh. And then you have uh, a few example words that contain this symbol. Okay. Jeune, jeune, feu, feu, ce, ce, que. You, you. So it'll help you develop a sensitivity to this particular sound. And we'll go to another one for good measure. Lui. Celui. Huit. Lui. And so forth. And that's uh, what is this reference. And finally, uh, we have a very basic uh, voice synth, and I emphasize basic. So uh, please don't expect, uh, uh, you know, this is a anything um, intelligible in terms of speech but uh, it's I offer it as a tool clip that uh, that may be useful to you so we'll try a few words here ah. and see if you can le. guess what uh, it's attempting to say U. S -a -le -u. S -a -le -u. we'll swipe that to uh, ah. to uh, erase it go to our next one nye. O. Ah, nye. O. And finally, a simple one. Uh, my favorite animal. And that's it for reference. Let's go to practice. And what we have here is uh, we hear a phoneme pronounced. Uh, incidentally, it's by a native speaker in a professional, professional studio uh, who speaks the national dialect. Um, so I'll, this is a good occasion to show you the repeat button because uh, I spoke over that. So we'll hear it again. L. L. So we press the one that we think it is. D. And let's pretend that we don't know what this one is, and we'll repeat it. Ba, ba. And we'll ba. see if we get it wrong, and it uh, turns red. Now, there are two ways to progress, because the app will repeat uh, in endlessly until you either get it right, or you skip it. So in this case, let's skip it. And but when I press the skip button, I want to watch this area here. E. And see, it told you what uh, what letter was skipped. So next time you have a fighting chance to get it right. Now I know that, uh, especially given the strange symbols here, um, it uh, could be intimidating to uh, to be faced with all of them. So what I would recommend doing is taking advantage of. The ability to mask out any uh, any symbols that you don't want to uh, practice. Oh, sorry. D so, oh. 
Now, what will happen is only, only these will be oh. said. Oh. Mm. Oh. So you can focus on that, and as you get more comfortable, you can add them. Oh. Okay. Oh. Mm. And so forth. So uh, I'd, I'd recommend that approach um, because it's a, uh, it's, uh, it's worth it. It's a. Uh, you don't want to get intimidated, um, so uh, just take it step by step. That's it for, for practice for touching here. And then finally we, well, not quite finally, but we have a test. Now I really would recommend um, approaching this only after quite a bit of practice because it's uh, it's more challenging. It looks similar to the practice, but I'll point out some differences. Mm. So there, first of all, there's no uh, repeat at all yeah. and also there's no indication that you got it right or wrong except at the very end e. E. I won't um, bore you with the the whole quiz but essentially it's the progress bar and goes to 100 um, and then it sh tells you your score at the end and uh, and that's it and then this it's good uh, gauge to do to do a routinely just to check your progress and you can you don't have to uh, Play the whole uh, test. You can cancel it, but as you, as it said there, your score is uh, you don't get a score. It doesn't count. Uh, finally, we'll go back to info, and in this case, uh, we have some links. Uh, the tutorial. This is the the very same video that you're watching now. Um, the support site. Uh, uh, you can uh, ask questions there, and. Uh, the review, uh, rate or review, in fact, uh, reviews are, are um, always appreciated, but ratings as well. Uh, of course, I favor positive reviews, but uh, negative reviews, if they're constructive, have been very influential in the past. This app has been out for, I don't know, probably a year and a half, two years. So, uh, and it's, I have to say, it's really, a, it's matured thanks to some constructive uh, criticism uh, by various people. So, um, please review. And uh, finally, uh, in the French series, I have three other apps, both uh, paid and free versions, um, uh, available, French alphabet, French numbers, and French gender. Uh, in fact, that, that reminds me, I should say that this course is the full version um, uh, on the iPhone retina display, but uh, the iPad version is functionally identical, so uh, it wasn't necessary to have a tutorial just on that. The free version um, has a is limited in two ways. One is you only have the first ten uh, symbols. Okay, it's still there. Um, otherwise, you have all of this. You have the practice. You don't have the test because it, it just wouldn't be fair. The the test uh, requires the whole set of, of phonemes. And if you're trying the many people try the uh, free version, and a portion of them. Um, upgrade. Um, now you don't see it here because this is the paid version but there's, there'll be another uh, link here to upgrade to full version and once you do that you have all 37 full names and essentially it's identical to the the paid version and uh, also uh, with the free version if you install it on the iPhone and uh, you also have an iPad you don't have to buy it twice it's never the case so when you say you install it on the iPhone and you upgrade it uh, Apple will, will record that you upgraded it, and when you install the free version on the iPad, um, you can go here and it'll automatically check for you. It'll ask actually if you want to check for a previous uh, uh, purchase. So it's impossible to pay for it uh, twice, okay, as long as you're using the same account. So that concludes the tutorial for French Sounds. Uh, again, this version 1.6, and uh, I hope that you. Uh, that you find the, uh, the app to be useful. If so, uh, please tell other people, and um, I especially hope to hear from you. Thank you very much.